All right, guys. So you can see why I decided to wear this. Because I knew that some ladies were coming on the show. Like, I'm not going to disgrace myself. You know? So I have two amazingly beautiful ladies. I'm going to introduce them because they're not strangers. They're part of the MBGN family. And to my left is MBGN Echoas 2018, Valentina Ogunaya. Yeah. Yes. And um, right. Yeah, this is my right. I'm Lee Lopez, MBGN Universe 20. How are you doing, ladies? It's been a while. <laughs> You're looking hotter. Like... <laughs> <laughs> What's been happening with you guys? Uh, it's been amazing. Like it's been amazing. Let's say from the start of MBGN up until now, mm -hmm. and that platform is one I'm actually very grateful for because mm -hmm. it was actually a platform that helped me get to where I am today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Valen, what's going on with you guys? With you, what have you been up to since MBGN? Oh, okay. I've just been... You're not this quiet, so they told me that she was... <laughs> okay, so you're not quiet, so let's <laughs> go. Okay, so, um, after MBGN, first of all, I thank my amazing family, Silver Bear, because, like, there was, you know, every moment to check up on us, you know, to know how we're doing, how we're faring, and, you know, help us out, you know, so... It's been amazing, it's been fantastic, it's been, you know, we just thank God, yeah. Okay. Oh, what's, what's so far leaving the house? I said leaving the house. Leaving <laughs> <laughs> um, after the competition. Mm -hmm. What has been the most insightful thing that's happened to you, or the most insightful thing about yourself after the competition up until now? Because some people leave and they never really evolve, you know. So what is the most insightful thing about your life or really about the things you've been able to do after the competition? So um, the thing is, I started the, when I when I went for the competition. I was still like nineteen. Mm -hmm. So um, after the competition was like more of my adulthood, Good, yeah. beginning of my adulthood, and you know. So I just. I don't know if it's adulthood or I just evolve. <laughs> so you're still know, evolving. Like, yeah, and I have a start, so you know, it's been a journey. Just like growing up, you know, setting journey. this up, doing this, that, you know. Okay. And and we have um, <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> who is a beauty queen chaperone. <laughs> every is, I always see Anthony with beauty queens. There's everything beauty, MBGN queens, mm -hmm. queens. Anthony, you're welcome. Beauty queen superhero. Aha, uh -huh. good. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, now when Anthony said, you know, he's MBGN. Yes. Yeah, but let me ask Army there. Mm -hmm. Like she said, what is the most distinctive thing that's happened to you immediately after the competition? Yeah, pageant. I actually got into pageantry for certain reasons, mm -hmm. and I think I got it from MBGN because, like she said, we're actually growing. Mm -hmm. You know, there are times in our lives where, you know, you keep procrastinating, you know, you keep doing things that you're not meant to do but mbgn actually pushed me to be better than what i was okay. before so i've applied that into my life starting up my business oh, nice. going for international pageants you know like it has opened me to a lot meeting people you know they say your network is your net worth so nice um, anthony <laughs> come to you we are the chaperone mm -hmm. what would this year represent because we have these two amazing ladies who are like templates yeah. for the ladies that are coming up we're still going to go to advice they have and mm -hmm. things that ladies can look out for this year so i want your undiluted opinion literally well i'm happy you said my opinion it's not general opinion and okay i'm also speaking on behalf of the committee and you know these two amazing ladies are ladies that i can remember you know their early years especially mm -hmm. for valentina she was a giant baby she was a tall baby yes. <laughs> and you know she she had well, i used to tell her why pageantry why not acting because she was just very interesting she could make you laugh she could turn from English to Pidgin. She's she, she, she <laughs> they're amazing. You can't separate them. That's why you have both of them here. Are they best friends? You guys best friends? They're, they're more wow! I've been on Instagram live with these two ladies several times. You understand? And you know, they're, they're amazing. But I remember Aramide herself. Mm. Aramide was, um, she was like, you know, really small. Mm. But when we were working for Miss Universe, was a fantastic time. Yeah, and blew up. <laughs> thrilled Africa, right? 
with you can tell us. I think you should talk Let's about yes, it. More. Yes, yes, yes. What do you do? Firstly, I want to thank MBGN for that platform. Like the platform to actually go from this university was really life changing. I went and showed them how it's done in Nigeria. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I did it to them. <laughs> hot, hot. It was amazing. The work actually went viral. And I think I'm I so, saw. Yeah, that, yes, I think I saw that. I saw that. I saw it. Bikini. Yeah, then That's I think you it. had like the green. Yeah, saw it. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. It was. Well, I think we should also look at how, you know, um, she's grown mm -hmm. over the years yeah. and how, you know, um, I think they both had it already, but MBGN also helped yeah. propel mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Valentina is pretending. Yeah. I knew her. <laughs> you, you know what she did with her Instagram? <laughs> she deleted all the old pictures, put up new pictures and put up the new pictures and she became a sensation overnight. You should be checking... Mm -hmm. You should check her pictures out. She's just pretending here. So these are ladies that we know that Silverbird has really, you know, shaped, groomed. The two of them are stunning. I mean, and I'm happy their friends still date. They've been able to help each other. You know, they, they travel, they work. I'm talking to them and I'm like, it's Anthony. Look, we work now. You need to schedule our time. And it's, it's good to hear. They both tell me, oh, Anthony, I'm driving now. <laughs> and it wasn't like that then. You understand? Okay, I love the let's talk about 2021. The ladies are coming up, and of course, we have the first stage. What, what should they aspire for? What are the things that you can tell them that I've done this? You guys should look out for because it always gets, it's always different. Let me start with Valentina. Always different every year. Yes. Yeah, so for me and my own strategy, <laughs> I, just, um, I, I was just myself okay. throughout the camp. Um, yeah, first of all, personally, I like to, like, I feel like this is what, the reason why a lot of people are really drawn to me is because I like to help, I like to help, like, okay. and when I went there, I was just myself, and most of the things I said I wanted to do, I genuinely wanted to do them. Okay. It wasn't like I was just trying to, you know, put up a show mm. so that I would get picked or something. And then, yeah, I was really confident because I, I, like, I'm not the first, I'm not the most beautiful, I'm not the, you know, but then I just I talked to it. myself that, yeah, you are the most beautiful and you have to, like, mm. get it. So, like, self-confidence and um, first believing in yourself and knowing that you can do Everybody know, believes in themselves, yeah, but then there's that's just this extra drive and extra ginger you have to like put in and yeah, yeah. that's what worked for me. What so. a, what a, what a um, like she said, yeah, confidence is actually key because everything is up here. It's a mental game. You're not the most beautiful. Most times there, there's always somebody that will be more beautiful than you, but there should be something that would make you stand out mm. from the rest. So confidence is actually very key. You have to believe you are beautiful. And when you believe you are beautiful, people will see that you are beautiful, not just physically, but you know, in the way you act, That's everything talking. generally. And you have to have mm. so much respect, yeah. so much respect. Nice. Anthony. Well, I, I like, <clears throat> excuse me, I like the fact that they're talking about their story because it's now easy for girls to see that they came from very humble backgrounds. They've been able to build themselves. I remember when we went to the treehouse in the conservation yeah. center, I was looking for you <laughs> and you had climbed all the way up to the treehouse. I was like, oh, my <laughs> God. So <laughs> oh so it's, it's good to see how they've been able to shape and build themselves and use that pattern. So, you know, I, I'd love the girls. I hope they're watching. I hope they can watch these videos again. And these are true stories. These mm -hmm. are amazing people who came home. I remember we were talking about her Lagos State background, you know, yeah. Lopez, and we we're talking about the Portuguese. I remember I had time to really know them and spend okay. time with them and look at where they are now. We're proud of them. So, and for the ladies who are at home now, don't wait till September. Right now is the time where you should be working out. You should be waking up at 5 o'clock. Because when he starts in camp, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. So right now, set your alarms. 5 o'clock, you're up. Whatever you want to do for a few minutes, start working out. They need to start working out now. If we start that in September, it will mess with your system. So these are things they should do while they're home. Like those ones who are watching now, don't just wait till September. Start working out now. Wake up early and research. Read. There's so many videos. Their videos are all over social mm -hmm. media. Her walk is there. Valentina is there. They're always so watch all these videos. Ask questions. 
read up about all these pageants. Read about how pageants started in. Uh, have, like, it's just yeah. Well, how did Miss Universe start? How did Miss well, Who's Julia Morley? What is uh, Beauty with a Purpose? What do these things mean? Oh, you understand? Nice. This is when you should do those things with fun. If you enjoy it, yeah. it'll be fun. But when you turn it into a school curriculum, it's a challenge. But when it's fun and you're reading about all these people, who's Mesta, uh, Mensa, who's uh, Katriona, who is uh, Tunzi, who is Aramide, who is Anita Oka. If you're reading these things now, it will be fun. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I okay. think that's what they need to do. I mean, you, you've hit the nail. This is like a master class already. <laughs> <laughs> so to wrap it up, really, what other things should the girls who are coming, who've been, because a lot of people have confidence issues, and they might say, ah, I'm not as beautiful as, so what yeah. should they need? What should they know? Apart from the fact that even if you don't have confidence, there's some other things mm. you need to know. Because when she did it, I mean, I'm not as tall as her, but, you know. Okay. Um, firstly, that confidence is very important mm. because you cannot always be the most beautiful. The people that are confident today, Oprah Winfrey, people that are successful today, they're not the most beautiful. It's not just about beauty. You have to believe more in yourself than you believe in even your physical attributes because you have a lot more to offer. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be very intelligent. Like he said, you have to read up. Your intelligence might outshine someone else's beauty because we all know that beauty is not just about the physical. Yeah. yeah, so if you put all these things together and you believe in yourself so much, there's no way, mm. there's no way you won't come well, out yeah. The extra points for the ladies watching who... Okay, I just, um, I just feel like, like there are queens that, okay, first of all, Measuring beauty, beauty like I feel is you can't measure beauty because um, someone might be tall, someone might be short, but someone you might feel like, oh this person has pointed nose and this person's mm -hmm. nose is flat. You you get everybody with their own personal attributes. So attributes. accepting yourself and you know um, believing that what you are or what yourself is is what beauty is supposed to be. Hmm. Exactly. That is what I feel um, they can hold on to. They can hold on to. Believing that what you have is what, what it, um, it is, that is the yardstick for measuring beauty. Nice, Do you understand? Because nice, nice. if, you, if you think, oh, I think beauty means you have small eyes, you have this, that, because that's your own personal attribute, exactly. then that's beauty for you, so it, it differs. And right. If they hold on to that, it doesn't yeah. matter <laughs> whose this is that, whose hair is, do you understand? Automatically you become confident you because you believe in yourself. That's oh, it. All right, yes. all right. So we're definitely going to see you guys on camp with the ladies. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Anywhere yes. Other yes. Tea you want to spill for us? Well, well I, I think this ladies have said it all. And for anybody watching this one, they can physically see what they become. And, you know, in their own comfort zone, they've become this. They've been, they've been comfortable with themselves. They're comfortable with their names. I mean... Valentina is a clown and she's comfortable being a clown and she's pretending <laughs> to be oh, you know, it's see not it's coming out it's, it's coming out <laughs> oh, I know it. and I, I think your set was really cool because you had Anita and Daniela Jato yeah. so it was an amazing combination yeah, that year I mean you had a fantastic photo shoot the one we did mm -hmm. in Lekki that came out and was really stunning yeah. and we must thank that lady who gave us the venue yeah. she gave us for free yeah. you yeah. understand so it was a, it was a huge experience and all right Well, of course, I think uh, the ladies might need to go right now because they have other things to attend to. Yeah. Thank you for having us, for coming on the show, Valentina, Ogunaya, and Armini. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 